Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today and we are unboxing the Fallout Collector's Trading Card Series 1. This comes with 24 packs, Dynamite was kind enough to send me this entire box so I'm very appreciative of that. Normally I find myself unboxing these bad boys right here, I'm absolutely obsessed with Dragon Ball Super the card game featuring personally what I believe is some of the best graphics on cards that I have ever seen in my entire life. So naturally with that obsession there with Dragon Ball, my other true love, I was more than happy to open 24 packs of a Fallout trading card series. So this isn't like Dragon Ball where as you saw here you have like stats on the cards. These are just trading cards but naturally I figured you guys would be pretty interested in this as a little Fallout spin-off thing to collect because I know all of us like any type of collector's thing when it comes to Fallout we can get our hands on. So let's tear this bad boy open and get to unboxing all the cards. All right, so I'm sure the way I tore open this box is gonna trigger some people, I do apologize, but let's get into pack one. I'm actually really excited about this. Apparently a lot of foils come in this and I don't know if they're just gonna be like pictures or something like that. Wow, it would be great if this would actually open. So upon inspection of all the corners here, I don't see like a safe tearing spot anywhere so i think we're just gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way this might really extend the time of this video because opening cards this way is such a pain <laughs> okay let's see what we've got here we've got the brotherhood of steel from fallout 4 we have a gatling laser astoundingly awesome tales not too bad so we have what looks like the institute and if you actually weren't aware of that you can flip it over and you'll see right here, Institute Concourse, for example. Naturally, a ghoul. A hollow soul survivor. Big fan of that. Sentry Bot. Nuka-Cola. A Vault Boy. Blast Radius board game. And then a little promo in the back. All right, on to pack number two. Okay, we got the Tales of the Junktown Jerky Vendor. Uh, we got a Fallout 76 card. Pretty cool. The sloth looking guy. What's he called, actually? Mega Sloth. All right, so we got a name for that now. Um, we got obviously Sanctuary Hills. Oddly enough, they only called this one Memorial. The Welcome Home sign from Fallout 4. This is a pretty cool hollow. Nuka Cola promotion for the blaster toy. Put that in the hollow pile over here. We've got the Goss rifle here. And then another astoundingly awesome Tales. This is the first one. And then another part, I guess you can make like a puzzle completion of all the cards together so that incentivizes people to buy more packs maybe. And then we have Mothman. So very cool. That was a Fallout 76 loaded pack right there. Let's move on to pack number three. One thing that kind of, I don't want to say disappoints me, but one thing I was really hoping for with these cards is that they actually had like effects and ways to battle each other because I think that's what would make this game kind of go over the top and get people to collect them instead of just getting cards because really what we're doing is buying the concept art for this game i think this is from fallout 4 right vault suit base mail um we got another card that needs to be completed with other ones so this looks like maybe something from the fallout 76 cover art um we got more concept art this is from fallout 4 when the bombs were actually falling i apologize that was a little out of shot we got one of the corvettes we got a hollow of diamond city that's actually really cool. I really like these hollows. They're cool. So put that over there. Um, we got actually another blaster toy for the Nuka Cola again. Um, as you can see here, there's a little bit of a difference. Let me grab the foil again. Uh, we can look at them kind of side by side so you can see the difference that um, is there. One's shinier than the other. That's really it. Um, nothing really else. We got another Diamond City one. So we just got the hollow for that. Guns and Bullets. The Plasma Weapon of Tomorrow, a Grognak the Barbarian comic card, and then naturally the Laser Musket, which I hope makes its way into Fallout 76. Anyway, pack number three, Benito. You know, you can tell a lot about a card by its feel, and these cards feel smooth, but like the sides are a little sharp, like I could cut myself on these cards by accident. So we got the Institute Rifle. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what that is. I know that this is definitely a part of that one picture we were looking at earlier. Once again, I think it's got to be something with the Fallout 76 cover art, but I may be wrong. We got a Pip Boy tip guide kind of thing. That's pretty interesting. This is called the Fault Boy Slide 1 from Fallout 76. Okay, so that's from the intro. I didn't even realize that. We got the Fat Man. That's pretty cool right there. So we'll put that in the hollow pile. 
the wait is over reclamation day so there we go there's more fallout 76 content for you a simple vault boy we got the robco fun one another grognak the barbarian uh this looks like the soul survivor leaving vault 111 and then the promo at the end see imagine if some of these had like status effects i'm thinking about maybe taking these cards and home brewing some status effects would you guys be into that that would take a ton of time and actually me having the ability to balance a full-on card game but i think it would be a lot of fun if we could take these cards and build a deck out of them and play each other in some type of fallout card game because that's what i was hoping for like elder scrolls legends sort of version of fallout but uh, in real life so we have another vault tech promotion we've got what i believe is the institute let's see if i'm right coarser and sense okay there we go this is a real test of your fallout knowledge like when you look at it do you know what it is so this is rivet city the Fallon's Department Store, that's from Fallout 4. That's one of my favorite locations, actually. Uh, another Fallout 76 slide. I only knew that because of the Vault Boy having a 76 on his back there. Um, we got the Guns and Bullets Plasma Weapon of Tomorrow magazine yet again. Uh, this one's hollow, though, so we're going to go... Oh, no, I messed up my hollow pile. What did I do? Why did I put that there? Hold on, hold on. We got to fix that. Vault Tech, another piece of the puzzle. This looks like Fallout 4 promotional art, if I remember. No, Fallout 76, Bog Sundu concept art. All right, so I got that one wrong. And then Hancock. Gotta love Hancock. All right, moving right along here. I've already lost count of what pack this was because I get so focused on what exactly I'm unpackaging and making sure I'm labeling it correctly as I rip through them all. Okay, so we get the female soul survivor here. We have a piece of the Museum of Freedom mural here. So this says image five of six so i guess as you collect all of them you can recreate the mural right in front of you here we have another part of what seems to be the fallout 76 cover art and actually now that i flip it over we can kind of tell that seems to be it because this is the same please stand by that came with the initial tease of fallout 76 so that's awesome um now we're seeing people get abducted by the institute in vault 111 right here um woof this weapon this is the cryolator i believe let's see yep bang man this is fun actually and then we have i remember this shot from the fallout 4 trailer how could i forget that that's when it really sunk in that that game was real for me it was right there so um yet another hollow we'll put that over to the side we got the brotherhood of steel logo we have the legs of the nuka girl the toughness vault boy and we have the ufo from mothership zeta i think let's see here is there just fallout 4 alien ship maybe not sure but anyway that's yet another pack keeping it rolling right along oh boy death claw yep throw that one out <laughs> uh we got more slides from the fallout 76 opening we have the power armor inside what i believe is the red rocket garage yep so that seems to be right uh, another piece of the fallout 76 cover art we have a hollow of the oh man what's the name of these things i think it starts with an a I don't, I want to say Automatron, but I know that's wrong. Uh, let's see. Assaulttron, that's what it was. Okay, so we got another piece of that right there. We got the Vault Boy. We got the Grognak the Barbarian, another issue of that. Ooh, we have a really cool one from Fallout 76. I think what caught a lot of people's attention initially was seeing this kind of mining power armor or something along the lines on the right side. That was awesome. And then naturally the Commonwealth Minutemen symbol right there. That's another pack that we have just ripped right through. Wow, they really kind of pull from everything here. We got Nuka Worlds. We have, oh, Skull A Square. That's cool. That's definitely Fallout 76, I believe, right? Yep, that's definitely it. Um, what is this? This is the Missile Launcher. We've got Grognak the Barbarian, Jungle of the Bat Babies. That's another hollow. Imagine if they actually made these for real. Like, we could go ahead and read them. I've always wondered why Fallout's never spun off into comics and books. It, it just baffles me with, you know, Fallout 76. You can clearly see, like, all right, that's a... Oh, Piper! All right, let's go. Um, you can clearly see, like... That's a good way to make some money. And imagine if they went ahead and made like an actual Grognak the Barbarian comic series or something along those lines. We got the aliens from Fallout 4 there. I think that would actually be a really smart direction for Fallout. I think it would give fans sort of what they're looking for. Like, okay, how about this? Now that I'm really just spinning my wheels here on some wacky Fallout ideas, imagine uh, a Fallout Choose Your Own Adventure book. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? You know, just 
a way to get some role playing into the Fallout universe again, but in a way that doesn't, I guess, impact Bethesda's direction with the games. Um, we got, ooh, the Gamma Gun, pretty cool. They got literally everything here. Oh, another part of the mural from the Museum of Freedom. Backwoodsman, that, that's that gotta be Fallout 76. Let's see here. Yeah, Bagwoodman, Art of the Tomahawk. So that's Fallout 76. A Little bit of additional juicy Fallout 76 info on these packs, I guess, before the game like officially drops. Is that the Syringer, maybe? Yep, yeah, wow, okay, I'm on a roll right now. Oh, we got the Nuka Girl yet again. We'll put her in the hollow pile. Hopefully we can complete one of those pictures there. Um, we got more concept art. We have another Backwoodsman, so this is another magazine that we're gonna be able to get in Fallout 76. Oh, here's another part of it, so we can kind of start that up right there. And as you guys can see, the Vault Girl is uh, in the process of being created. We have Jangles the Moon Monkey. I'll be damned. Why is that a card? And that's all we've got for that. And I keep going for like right here because when I open Dragon Ball cards, it's always the top right. It's always just an easy tear. But with this, you got to tear from the back, which is completely different. And I always get nervous because I feel like I could just ruin some of the cards. Total Hack Control Turrets. I think that's Fallout 4, yeah? That is, I don't know what it is. I, I think it's Fallout 4. It doesn't really say, actually. Um, what else? We have another part of the mural. We have the Gatling laser again. Okay, so we're starting to get some repeats. Another astoundingly awesome tale. This one's the Attack of the Fisherman. Um, we have the Institute Concourse yet again. We have a hollow laser musket, so we'll put that right there. Uh, we've got the Sentry Bots. Another Nuka-Cola part of the entire picture. We've got the Vault Boy holding a uh, Fat Man. I think this is actually one of the trophy icons for Fallout 3, if I remember correctly. Vault Boy Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, I, I think so. That might be part of the main story, if I remember correctly. Uh, Blast Radius, we got that again. And that's the end of that pack. So we're starting to run into some repeats, but that's after, you know, we got a pretty healthy stack there. Um, but also we're learning the card game for the first time. So maybe there's been more repeats that I just wasn't entirely aware of at that point in time. Um, ooh, what, which perk is this? This is Vault Boy and Vault Girl. Oh, okay, cool. I thought that would be a part of a perk or something like that. We have a mini nuke. Oh, we got the pissed off Vault Boy. All right, I like the nod to that one. That's pretty funny. Sad face, they call it. That's the face I use anytime Bethesda pisses me off and I got to make a video about it in the thumbnail. Uh, we got another part of the Fallout 76 cover. What do we have here? Tesla Science Magazine Picture of Warfare, question mark? Okay, so interesting hollow there. I like how they really use everything in the Fallout universe for these cards. I mean, they kind of have to. A Fire Protectron, interesting. Protectron Firefighter, as they call it. Hot Rodder Magazine, this is what gets you the flame paint job on your power armor in Fallout 4. Oh, Liberty Prime, that's gotta be a hollow. It's gotta be a hollow. And then we have the Ripper. This is easily the most OP weapon in Fallout 4, I promise you. Nothing is better than the Ripper, because all it does is consistently staggers the enemy. So while it doesn't do a ton of damage, the enemy just can't fight back. And since Fallout 4's AI can't really think its way around someone just constantly staggering them, you'll win every single battle. Not like it's a hard game to you know win every single battle in but anyway we got ourselves another ghoul oh no this is a wendigo i apologize i assumed incorrectly early on so this is a fallout 76 wendigo wow holy crap well in my time with the beta i have yet to run into this and let me tell you what that is a creepy holy crap okay i shouldn't have sifted through that one too fast institute rifle another part of the fallout 76 cover art another one Let's see what this one is. Vault Tech will be there. So another hollow for Vault Tech. This is looking like something from 76, I feel like. So we'll add that to the pile. The wait is over for Reclamation Day. A Vault Boy folding his hands over his arms. Uh, we got Robco yet again. Grognak, Blood on the Harp. See, look at these, man. Like, these are so cool. Imagine if we made comics. I'm telling you, Bethesda, million dollar idea. We got the sole survivor leaving the cryo chambers yet again and that'll conclude that pack so definitely hitting some more repeats here i'm curious what the value of these cards will be because they're just trading cards right so that's one thing i'm not totally knowledgeable on like i'm more knowledgeable on for example magic or dragon ball super where it's like okay you know this card is valuable because it's a part of the meta but these are just cards that people are 
collecting through packs and I mean they're the only value they have is like oh it's a Nick Valentine but do you have the Nick Valentine hollow is that how it works because I don't remember because the last time I got cards like these was maybe like baseball cards when I was a kid oh this is cool this is yeah this is the combat zone from Fallout 4 um maybe like sets like this like the mural maybe that's what would be worth more if you have the complete mural set we got another grognak the barbarian hollow demon slaves and demon sands you yeah, see some of this art man this is this is just really cool uh oh this is a different type of card it's it's not the actual rectangle it's huh maybe maybe that die cut chase card hmm I don't know exactly what that means. I'll, I'll have to do my research on that. We'll leave it to the side, though. Preston Garvey just staring deeply into our souls. And then another Grognak, another Nuka Girl, which we could have attached to that extra body piece right there. And then uh, another Power Armor. That's a pack complete. More Pit Boy art. The Soul Survivor female. We've got another Mural Shot. More cover art more cryo abduction another part of the hollow puzzle this time it's for the nuka girl so i'm assuming maybe that'll be what's kind of worth a decent amount is when you collect sets and it's in hollow anyway we've got the brotherhood of steel we got the legs of the nuka girl toughness alien ship bang that was actually a probably our quickest pack because like i said now that we're seeing more and more repeats i, I feel like you know these these will just be kind of quickly sifted through unless we find another new hollow uh, my goal here is to obviously complete that little hollow set right there that would be pretty funny if we could do that in the whole video cryo later death claw we've got any or adapting to life outside the vault power armor oh this is a shot from fallout 76 concept art we learned that in an earlier card when i was incorrect but nonetheless pretty cool power armor we got the vault boy grognak more of the power armor shots from fallout 76 the minutemen logo okay so i want to know in the comments because i don't really feel disappointed but um i know some people might expect that are you upset that some of the pic not some all the pictures are from the games and not like recreated images or, oh, Fallout 3's cover art. I'll be damned. You already know. I love that. Oh, no, I dropped it. Where'd it go? Okay. Whew. It's all right. It's going in the hollow pile. You guys know I love Fallout 3. Have you noticed? Holy crap, I just thought of this. There hasn't been a single New Vegas card. Ooh, Christmas Vault Boy. There hasn't been a single New Vegas card, though. The Fallout checklist. So this is literally every card, I think, in the game, I want to say. Yeah. Okay, so we'll keep that to the side and see if we got it all. Um, what is this? Holy crap, I'm having trouble remembering what this one is. Uh, oh boy, I actually, I'm gonna have to look at the back of this one. I don't know what that is. The railway rifle, why, wow, I, man, I couldn't remember that. And I used the railway rifle a lot in Fallout 4. Live and love. Oh, so we've got the print one. That's a new one right there. We've got La Quiv. Uh, did I say that right? I might have said that incorrectly. Grognak. Okay, so our goal here, which I don't think is going to happen, is to find a Fallout New Vegas card of some kind. I'm very surprised, though, I will admit, that there isn't even a nod towards the original Fallout games, right? Like, you'd think at least that would be in here. Um, but... It's seeming like that's, oops, I kicked the camera. It's seeming like that's not the case. We got Tesla, we got the Gamma Gun, another shot of the mural. What is this? We've got, oh, John Hancock foil. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, can you actually, yeah, if you look close enough, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. It says John Hancock right there, like a little signature on there. That's pretty cool. I like that. So we got another die cast piece. I'll leave that over to the side. Uh, backwoodsman the body of see we need that in we need this in the foil right here jangle with the moon monkey i would love that in the foil and that's another card pack complete so we're nearing the end here i think we got less than 10 packs i think we're in the like six or seven area for these and so far i'm pretty satisfied a celebration at last we've got ourselves more fallout 76 going on we've got another part of the mural i believe yes indeed we have the massachusetts surgical journal we've got the raider power armor Ooh, we have the awesome tales uh an alien one 
So we'll put that over there. The red rocket station. I noticed that they all come with one single hollow. And oddly enough, the hollow is always in the middle. Most card packs are like, let's save the hollow for the end, you know, kind of end the pack with a bang, leave the player wanting more. There's like something psychological about it that um, you gotta imagine these card makers know about, but these guys love to slap the hollow in the middle and then leave you with some other cards. It, like I said, it's really hard to gauge the value on what's an important card other than like one shiny, one isn't, right? So we get the Syringer, we've got the Vault Boy and Vault Girl, we've got the Mini Nuke, ooh, we got the Alien Pistol. That's a hollow right there, bang. All right, um, we got Grognak, we got the Firefighter Protectron, Hot Rodder Magazine, Liberty Prime, Lil Ripper. That is a complete pack right there. So we've definitely narrowed down our options on what can possibly be new. Honestly, I'd make a sound argument that we have every card in the game. I'm just kidding. We'll see at the end of this. Um, I'll check the checklist for myself and see if I actually do. It'll definitely be interesting. Oh, well, that's something new right there. That is the Chinese sub, I think, from Fallout 4, right? Yep. What else do we have? We have the Vault Boy riding the nuke with a cowboy hat on. Um, now that... Someone's going to have to let me know in the comments. Is that Fallout New Vegas? And I'm just thinking of it because of the cowboy hat. But someone let me know because that might be our, our, our only one there. Ooh, we got the Shish Kebab. Uh, another part of Fallout 76. Ooh, another hollow part for our Vault Girl. We're getting there, man. We're getting there. Soul Survivor, a close-up shot. And then the Fat Man We've got another shot from the Fallout 4 trailer. And that's that right there. So we have three packs left. Let's see if somehow we can magically complete this, uh, this Nuka Girl. That would be really cool. I feel like this video, I've, I must have just subconsciously called her a Vault Girl like at least four times. We have a pink background for the pissed off Vault Boy, so maybe this is like a semi-rare. Uh, more cover art, Nick Valentine, would love to get him hollow. Uh, fond farewell from Vault Tech. We've got the Combat Zone. Oh, a Piper hollow. Now, all right, I'm happy with that. You guys know I love Piper. She's like my favorite companion next to Nick Valentine in Fallout 4, so I'm pretty happy about that. That's a, that's a good get right there. Oh, no, I dropped the cards. All right, two more left. Here we go. Let's see if we can finish strong. Let's unpackage that bad boy. This must be a symbol right here. We've got the Nuka Girl on the cover. Let's cross our fingers and hope we can at least complete part of it now. I don't think we have a, enough cards. Oh, we got Paladin Dance. All right, cool. Uh, ooh, from Fallout 3 in the credit scene. All right, nice. Uh, oh wow, the Greenbrier. So this is a pretty strong pack. We got another new mural part. We've got a Hollow Mothman. Nice. This is actually a really cool pack. Um, we've got the Assault Tron. We got Nuka Girl. Not not what we wanted though. Come on. Uh, we got the Tesla Magazine. Grognak. I swear to God, for a second I thought that was Shovel Knight. I have no idea why. Um, we've got the Railway Rifle. And okay, here we go. We got one more pack to go. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these cards afterwards. I think I'm just going to store them inside this box. All right, this has to be an omen. Once again, we got we got the Nuka Girl here on the cover of the package itself. So this ought to be good. We had a really strong pack there. That was all new cards. That was a good way to finish off. So Mural Part, Fallout 3 cover. We've got uh, Capital Wasteland. That's pretty cool. We've got another Vault Boy Christmas. Um, mm, yeah, not the not the most thrilling power armor hollow to end it on, if I'm quite truthful. Uh, live and love. Beware the man handler. Hmm, interesting. That has to be from Fallout 4, I think, because it seems like all these cards are from Bethesda Fallout games. And yeah, that will pretty much do it. So that's an entire booster box of Fallout cards unboxed for you guys here for your viewing pleasure. Um, overall, I got to say, I really like some of the images there. Uh, here we can kind of see the final product right there. Overall, I like some of the, the images um i'd like an easier way to distinguish what's considered valuable and what's not like what's a rare pull and what isn't i don't know if this card game will be popular enough ever to figure that out but a huge thanks to dynamite for sending these my way and let me unbox them for you guys uh, a quick look at all the hollows we got so we got the power armor we have mothman 
We've got Piper. I love that. We've got uh, the Alien Blaster. Astoundingly awesome Tails. We've got John Hancock with a little signature at the top. We've got the Railway Rifle. Uh, Fallout 3 ended up in there just because it's, it's Fallout 3. Come on. No, um, we've got uh, part of the concept art from Fallout 76. Grognek the Barbarian. vault will be there. Uh, Tesla Magazine. We've got ourselves the Gatling, or not the Gatling, Jesus, the um, Laser Musket, uh, another Grognak the Barbarian, an Assault Tron. We've got the shot from the Fallout 4 trailer with the uh, Protectron, Guns and Bullets. We got a Nuka Cola, almost like a business card. This one kind of reminds me of. Um, we've got the, ooh, what is this? Uh, Diamond City, right? And we got the Soul Survivor, and that's it. So those are all the hollows we got. As you can see right here, these are all the cards we unpackaged we'll just place these at the top oh and then still on the floor is <laughs> the creepy death claw so what do you guys think of these cards do you think it'd be worth your money are you interested in this card game do you want to see more of that oh and some of the extra hollows we got right here sorry left them lying around what do you guys feel about this let me know in the comments down below i do hope you enjoyed something a little bit different you guys know i'm obsessed with uh card games probably at this point in time so I felt this was a good fit for the channel, just based off my sheer interests alone. Uh, but anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys in the comments, and I'll be sure to catch you guys next time. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content we create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.